What is up guys? Welcome to your 44th Objective C tutorial and in this tutorial we're going to be going over something called external and global variables. So you know there's your intro let's go ahead and jump right into it so we're going to be building a bunch of stuff in the tuna class so go ahead and import tuna right now so we have it when we uh, need it and we don't forget to put it in later on but anyways let's go ahead and make a global variable right now and say we're going to build a program to like change the drinking age of I don't know the you know it really doesn't matter the variable I just wanted to name a variable drunk so I'm gonna set this equal to 21 so it's uh, something we remember and everyone can remember the drinking age so here's what I did in my main program and I say main program but it's whatever class has my main method in it I made this variable called drunk right at the top of it and what this does is it makes it global that means any method inside this file has access to this variable pretty cool huh but what I also did is I also made it external by doing this and when you make an external variable this means that any other file if it has some special syntax in front of it then that other class can access this variable too so this is pretty cool because this is something we've never seen before not only can we access the variable from in here which you know it was kind of expected but also from other classes like this class too alright that's pretty cool so let's go ahead and uh... oh another thing I forgot to say anytime you're making external variables or global variables you it's preferred to put the lowercase g in front of the variable name that way you can easily identify your uh, uh, global variables and I didn't make that up that's not just my personal preference that's a uh, common practice in Objective-C programming but anyways let's go ahead and print this out just to make sure it works and hold on I got an itch in my ear oh, there it go I always get an itch in my left ear when I'm making tutorials why I don't know send me your theories maybe I'll figure it out so let's go ahead and press percent I and let's just go ahead and print out G drunk whoa easy caps there we go that's a tidbit better so let's go ahead and build and run this save all and check it out we have 21 printed out on the screen nothing new another itch really jeez is there like a piece of hair in my headphones or something alright so again obviously we just accessed one variable from inside here printed it out nothing special but now let's go ahead and go to the tuna class right here and in the interface what we're going to be doing is we don't want to build any variables we just want to build one method it's going to be void it's not going to return anything and let's just go ahead and name it like change variable like that and it's not even going to take any parameters so now let's copy that so in our implementation file whenever we implement it what do we want the body to do well in order to access outside global variables and this one's named G drunk what we need to do is let me go in my implementation what we need to do is first make an external declaration and this means alright we're gonna give you a variable but don't look inside this file look inside an outside file so let's go ahead and do that the syntax for this is e x t e r n that's it not external I know it's weird I mean you might as well write the whole word word but you know that's how they did it just write extern and then go ahead and write int g drunk and that's all you have to do in this external declaration means that alright this variable drunk it isn't in this file so it's an external global variable so you know you need to give the declaration before you start working with it so now that we have access to it from an outside file we can go ahead and drunk and change the drinking age to 13 of course so now whenever we call this method change of r it goes and gets a variable from an outside method and changes the variable in this case the drinking age so let's go ahead and where's my main class right there and we'll keep this one right here so we make sure we don't mess anything up and remember that was all written in the tuna class so tuna I'll make an object called fish pretty clever right eh? yeah I just thought that myself no big deal but 
Anyways, let's go ahead and allocate some space to tuna, initialize the fish, and let's go ahead and remember it was called fish change, I think it was called change var. Well, I'll see in a little bit if I get an error message or not. And so now what this method did, dud, WTH is that, what this method did is change the variable to 13. So now this global variable, even though it was declared in this class as 21, we can change it to 13 from outside class. Pretty cool. So now let's go ahead and, ooh, we have this little neat little code. We can just copy this and paste it right there. And I mean, oh, I guess I need to release my fish. Catch and release and uh, let's see, I think we're good to go. So let's go ahead and build and run this, save it and see what we got. We got 21 by default, that's what it was. And then from the outside class, it changed it to 13. Pretty cool, huh? So here's what we did one last time, super quick recap. We made a variable in this class, an external variable named gdrunk, set it equal to 21. When we made an external variable, we said, all right, as long as you give me the declaration, you can use it from any class you want, in this case, the tuna class. What this did is it gave the declaration and it changed it to 13 from an outside class. And then when we called it back in the main method, this method was the one that changed it to 13 and this is what just printed it out and then we released our fish because you know catch and release so thank you guys for watching that's all I have for you for this tutorial I'm gonna be taking all of this source code and putting it in the link below if you want it go get it it's free so uh, thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe and I will see you later